Hello everybody, this is Undead Nightmare 24 back with another video. And in this video I will be uh, reviewing Madhouse from Arrow Video. Hope everyone's having a wonderful night there. And this movie I did recently watch, so I will be going through a real quick review of it. There may be spoilers in this video, so if you have not seen this movie, I advise you to watch it before you see this video. So we'll go with Madhouse, and this is filmed in 1981. And this movie reminds me of an Italian kind of horror film. It has that Italian feel to it. It takes place in this creepy house, man. And right away in the opening scene, it has a scene that gives homage to these Italian horror films. Reminded me of it real quick. It has these two sisters, I guess they're twins. And has one in a rocking chair and the other one singing this creepy lullaby to her. Ends up smacking her right in the face with a with the boulder rock and crushing her face just great Italian horror effects man it gave me the re reminisce of Lucio Fulci all them their kind of movies with that scene so I really enjoyed that and this movie's basically about that the twin sisters again that altercation when they're little and one of them's evil she ends up in a psychiatric ugh, I can't talk psychiatric hospital and vows revenge on her sister so She's waiting for her time to get revenge, and her other sister is just this straightforward person that, you know, is trying to go in straight. Teach her. She helps these deaf kids out of school, and she's trying to forget all this that happened in her past. And it gets up remembered when she has to go back and visit her in that hospital, and ends up getting put in this hold, man, this kind of hold. She holds her down and tells her that she's gonna, she's coming for her, and she won't get away this time. Gets her in a nice grip, has a bruised arm, so she's she's just haunted by that, stays worried, and then later on she ends up escaping, the twin sister ends up escaping from the psychiatric hospital, and the sister's telling this story about her having, the twin sister having a, like a, a dog there, Rottweiler, I think, that she's always had control of, and, you know, commands him, and t he'll listen to whatever she wants, including killing so it, it does start with the scenes of this dog just viciously killing and devouring people in this movie, man. It has some great gore effects in it. Great storyline. and She ends up escaping pretty much and getting in that house where her sister lives. And staying in like this back boarded up area where she hides and her and the dog. And she unleashes this dog to do her killings. Sometimes she'll do the killings with that knife. Kind of a slasher it film, but it does have some great kills. Nice storyline, like I said, and has this twist at the end. I don't want to give away, but does that extra to it? Kind of did remind me of a remind me of what's that one? Happy birthday to me. It had that feel to me. I had a lot of I don't know which movie was made first, this one or that one, but they are similar in ways. I, I do like Happy Birthday to me a little bit more than this one, but this one's still enjoyable. And it does have a, like I said, that Italian horror feel to it. Great gore, great storyline, nice twist at the end. Very fun movie, so I really, really enjoyed this one. So if you, have, if you haven't seen this movie, I highly recommend you guys watching it. I would recommend it a watch. And it's a lot of fun, and this dog is vicious, man. I mean... I haven't seen a dog so vicious since Pry Cujo on this one. Dog freaks the freaks the hell out of me, man, on some parts. So does the girl, man. It's great. And then the twist just leaves you like like loving it even more. The ending has a great not great but very good ending. But yeah. This movie, a lot of fun, man. Recommend it. This is Undead Nightmare 24. Back with another movie review. And it is Madhouse from 1981. And I do recommend this one. So everyone have a good night. Stay safe. Peace.